शांति दिस इज दी सरकार मुरली ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइन ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन बाबा हैज कम टू गिव यू दी जूल्स ऑफ नॉलेज टू स्पीक अ मुरली दिस इज वाई यू मस्ट नेवर मिस अ मुरली इफ यू डू नॉट लव दी मुरली इट मीन्स यू डू नॉट लव दी फादर question what is the best character of all which you imbibe through this knowledge answer to become wise less is to have the best character of all you have received the knowledge that this whole world is vicious to be vicious means to be characterless the father has come to establish the wise less world deities have wise less characters your characters are reformed by having the remembrance of the father om shanti children you must never miss this study if you miss this study you will also miss your status where are you sweetest spiritual children sitting in this godly spiritual university You children are aware that you are admitted to this university every five thousand years. You children also know that the father is your father, your teacher, and your guru. In fact, the picture of a guru is separate, a father's picture is separate, and the teacher's is also separate. There is only one image of that one, but in fact, it includes all three. That is, he becomes the father. teacher and the guru these are the three main relationships in the life of a human being that father teacher and guru are one and the same he himself plays all three parts you children should have a great deal of happiness while understanding each aspect and you should all bring many others here and have them admitted to this trinity university those who study at a university where a good education is given would recommend it to others come and study in this university you will receive good knowledge here and your character will also be reformed you children also have to bring others here you mothers have to explain to other mothers and the man can explain to man just see that one is the father the teacher and the guru Each of you should ask your heart whether you explain in this way or not. Do you sometimes explain to your friends and relations that that one is the supreme father, the supreme teacher, and the supreme guru? The father is the one who makes you into supreme deities. The father does not make you into the father as he is, but he makes you similar to himself in praise. It is a father's job to give sustenance and love, and so you definitely have to remember such a father. He cannot be compared to anyone else. Although it is said that you receive peace from a guru, that one makes you into the masters of the world. No one else can say that he is the father of all souls. No one knows who the father of all souls can be. There is only the one unlimited Father, whom all Hindus, Muslims, and Christians, etc., refer to as God, the Father. The intellect definitely goes towards the incorporeal one. Who said this? The soul said, "God, the Father. Therefore, souls must surely meet Him. If you simply call Him your Father, but have not met Him, then how could He be your Father?" He fulfills the desires of the children of the whole world. Everyone desires to go to the land of peace. Souls remember their home. Souls have become tired in the kingdom of Ravan. In English too, it is said, "O oh God, the Father, liberate us." Having become tamo pradhan while playing their parts, everyone is to return to the land of peace. First, you come down into the land of happiness. It is not that when you first come, you become vicious. No, the father explains this is a brothel, the kingdom of Ravan. This is called the very depths of hell. There are so many scriptures in this world, particularly in Bhagat. There are so many books of studies. 
all of them are going to be destroyed. The gifts that the father gives you can never be burnt. They are for imbibing. Things that are of no use are burnt. This knowledge is not a scripture that can be burnt. You receive this knowledge through which you claim a status for 21 births. It is not that scriptures belonging to that one are burnt away. No, this knowledge will automatically disappear. This knowledge is not any in any books that need to be studied. There is the name Gyan Vigyan Bhavan, but they don't know why that name has been given or what the meaning of it is. There is great praise of Gyan Vigyan. Gyan means the knowledge or of the world cycle that you are now imbibing. Vigyan means the land of silence. You go even beyond the stage of Gyan. You rule a kingdom again on the basis of how you study this knowledge. You understand that the father of souls comes and teaches us. Otherwise, the virgins of God vanish. God does not come after having studied the scripture. God has both Gyan and Vigyan. Whatever someone is, he would make others similar to himself. This is a very subtle matter. Vigyan is more subtle than Gyan. You have to go even beyond Gyan. Knowledge is gross. Noise is made when teaching is when teaching it, began in which you began in which you go beyond sound into silence is subtle. It is this silence that you have been wandering around for. People go to sannyasis for peace. However, that which belongs to the father cannot be given by anyone else. People do hatha yoga and sit in a pit, but they cannot receive peace through that. Here, there is no question of any difficulty. This study is very easy. You are given the 7 days course. After doing the 7 days course, you can go anywhere. This cannot be done in worldly colleges. Your course is 7 days. Everything is explained to you in this course. But not everyone has 7 days to give. Their intellect's yoga is drawn elsewhere. Where you were in the bhatti, you did not see anyone's face. You did not speak to anyone. You did not even go outside. You used to go and sit in remembrance on the seashore to do tapasya. At that time, you did not understand the cycle. You did not understand this study. First of all, you need to have yoga with Baba. You need to have the father's introduction. And after that, you need the teacher. Firstly, you have to learn how to have yoga with the father because he is bodiless. Others do not accept this. They say God the Father is omnipresent. The notion of omnipresence has continued. This aspect is not in your intellects now. You are students. The Father says by all means do your business etc. But you must definitely come to class. You may stay at home with your families. If you say that you don't want to go to school then what can the Father do? Oh, God is teaching you to make you into gods and goddesses. God is peace and make you into the kings of kings. So will you not study Raj Yoga from God? Who would not want to do this? It was why, had, why you had to run away from your homes in order to be saved from vice. You came and stayed in that bhatti where no one could see you or where no one could meet you. You did not see anyone for your heart to be drawn to. Although some children do have the faith that God is teaching them, they still make excuses that they are sick or that they have something to do. The father can provide many shifts. Nowadays they have many shifts in schools. Here there isn't a great deal to study. You simply need a good intellect to understand alpha and beta. Remember alpha and beta and tell everyone else about it. People create many images of the Trinity. But they don't show Sri Baba at the top. They do not understand the God of the Gita is Siva, from whom this one takes this knowledge and becomes Vishnu. This is Raj Yoga. This is now the last of his many births. This explanation is very easy. You do not hold any books etc. in your hands. Each of you simply wears a badge which only shows the image of the Trinity. 
you have to explain with dad how the father is teaching you through brahma and making you similar to vishnu some think that they want to become like radhe the earn of nectar has been given to the mothers in fact radhe receives the earn of nectar at the end of her many births it is the father who explains this secret no other human beings know this so many come to you at the centers some come for one day and then don't come for four days therefore you should ask them what have you been doing all that time when you remembering the father when you are spinning the discuss of self realization you should write and ask this of those who haven't been for a long time some are transferred in their job and have to go away however they have to belong to a center they have been given the mantra the mantra the father and is been the cycle <coughs> the father has explained a very easy thing there are only two words man mana bhav remember me and remember your inheritance the whole cycle is included in this when someone leaves his body they say that he has gone to heaven but what is heaven no one knows we now understand that it is a kingdom where and that from the very highest to the very lowest from the wealthy to poor everyone is happy here it is a world of sorrow that is a world of happiness the father explains very clearly even if someone is a shopkeeper no matter who he is it is not good to make excuses for not studying if they don't come you can ask them how much do you remember the father have you been spinning the discuss of self realization eat drink and tour around there is no objection to that but make time for this too you also have to bring benefit to others for instance if someone is employed in cleaning clothes many come to him whether they are muslims parsis or hindus tell them you are having your physical clothes washed but that body of yours is an old dirty costume the soul is also tamo pradhan you have to make it satu pradhan clean this entire world is impure old iron age and tamo pradhan you have the aim of changing from tamo pradhan to satu pradhan Now, whether you want to do this or not, whether you want to understand this or not, it is up to you. You are souls. Souls definitely have to become pure. You have now become impure. Souls and bodies have both become dirty. In order to have them cleaned, remember the Father, and it is guaranteed that you souls will become hundred percent pure gold, and the ornaments by its bodies will also become beautiful. Whether you believe this or not. is up to you the to a service go to doctors go to colleges go to eminent people and explain to them that their characters have to become very good here all are characterless the father says you have to become wiseless the wiseless world used to exist it is now wiseless it is characterless everyone's character has become very bad you cannot reform yourself without becoming wiseless here human beings are lustful only the one father establishes the wiseless world from the wiseless world the old world will be destroyed this is a cycle the explanation of the globe is very good when the deities ruled this world was wiseless where have they gone now souls are never destroyed each one renounces a body and takes another deities have taken 84 births you have now become sensible previously you did not know anything this old world is now very dirty you feel that what baba says is absolutely accurate there it is a pure world because this world is not pure they have called themselves hindus instead of deities Those who live in Hindustan are called Hindus, whereas deities live in heaven. You have now understood this cycle. Those of you who are sensible understand very clearly that you have to sit and repeat everything in the way that the father explains. Continue to note down the main words 
and then relate them to others and see that the father mentioned this and that point tell them i am telling you the knowledge of the gita this is the age of the gita everyone knows that there are four ages this is a leap age no one knows about this confluence age you know understand that this is the most auspicious confluence age people celebrate the birth of shiva but no one knows when he came or what he did after the birth of shiva is celebrated there is the celebration of the birth of krishna then comes the celebration of the birth of rama no one celebrates the birth of jagadamba or jagat pita everyone comes number wise you have now received this entire knowledge acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharna namo one our father is the supreme father the supreme teacher and the supreme sadguru tell everyone this aspect teach everyone the lesson of alpha and beta second to study gyan means to imbibe the knowledge of the world cycle and to become a spinner of the discourse of self realization vigyan means to go beyond sound into silence take the 7 days course and continue to study this wherever you live blessing may you be free from ego and constantly experience happiness by renouncing any unripe fruit of regard or honor from doing service the royal forms of desire are to want name respect and honor those who do service for their names to be known are able to earn a name for a temporary period but their names go to the back in claiming a high status because the fruit they eat is unripe some children think that in the subject of service they should receive respect but that is not receiving respect it is having ego when there is ego there cannot be happiness and this is why you have to become free from ego and constantly experience happiness slogan swing in the swing of the happiness of god's love and no wave of sorrow will be able to come slogan swing in the swing of happiness of god's love and no wave of sorrow will be able to come om shanti